Hello, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead. Gonna be working from inside the house today. Gotta get some seeds organized. Even though the sun is shining right now, it's been a pretty rainy last couple of days. Friday, we got about three and a half inches of rain. It was just raining about 30 minutes ago. I was outside mowing and then just a deluge occurred. I was soaked, came in, got my shower. Now it's time to work on getting these seeds organized. Um, Everybody who knows me knows that some things I'm not really good at is organization. I organize by piles, right, hon? Right. Right. Shelly will be the first to tell you. I organize by piles. Like, um, you know, this pile of stuff I need to take care of and this pile of stuff that I should have taken care of and this pile over here is stuff that I probably will never take care of. That's just how my piles go. So for the last, uh, what, two years? Mm -hmm. Two years, this shelf over here in the corner uh, by the front door we use it for you know growing plants and stuff, but and seed starting. But it's also just had a pile of seeds on it. Uh, all of my seed packets have just been piling up. So it is time to get these things organized. And um, but first, before we do that, I got to make some coffee. And Shelly is uh, working on making some popcorn so we can snack a little bit while we are getting these seeds taken care of. Now that I got my cup of joe, it's time to get started. So the table's kind of busy right now because not only do I have all of the things that I need to get my seeds organized, but Shelly's also working on some uh, homeschool prep for next year. So, you know, this is the life of a homesteader homeschooler. And I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of seeds that I have. I don't know about you guys, but I have a tendency to always buy more seeds than I actually need. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot here. I've got stuff from Baker Creek, stuff from MI Gardener, and stuff uh, that we have saved from our from squash that we've grown, from corn that we've grown, tomatoes and peppers that we've grown, and I even got some seeds from Burpee. I know, don't judge me, but that's just you know, you got to get what you can get uh, for what you need at the time. And oh, of course, uh, uh, the seeds from Seeds for Generations. Uh, those guys also do wonderful heirloom seeds. And the struggle here was always to find a way to organize seeds where they weren't just in a big pile. And we've seen some ideas on Pinterest with people using um, like card binders that people use for like baseball cards. They'll use those or photo organizers in a binder. And it sounds nice and all, but I was always afraid that if we got the binder and it got knocked over or wet, <laughs> the seeds would be ruined and lost and destroyed. And we've lost enough seeds as it is. Uh, I had about $200 worth of seeds from uh, Baker Creek in the basement uh, in some manila envelopes. They were somewhat organized. And um, a couple years ago, we had a field mouse get into the basement and uh, went to go get my seeds that spring and they were gone. And all that was left was a big pile of mouse turds and um, the shreds of the seed packs. So needless to say, uh, I need something a little more robust. And we decided to go with one of these photo and craft keepers. Um, there's been a lot of other homesteaders that we watch on YouTube that have, have been using these particular, um, these particular boxes to maintain their seed storage. And it's a great little kit. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen of these little containers that are just a perfect size for seed packs. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And these are designed specifically for photos, so they're going to keep things safe and sealed. You've got a little bit of uh, protection against water and humidity in the basement, and against vermin like mice and bugs because you've got a you know it's a kind of a, a double seal here. And uh, after seeing this, I figured it was time, time to get it done. And we needed to clean off our rack over here because we're gonna move that and do some more reorganization here in the dining room a little bit. So I had to 
get this taken care of, right, Shelly? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't. I, I, it was it was time to get it done. And then finally, over there, I've got a label maker, and we're gonna label each of these. And you know, I struggled a little bit with how to, you know, the best way to organize the seeds. And we figured the best way would be with, um, you know, like greens and tomatoes, the you know, bush or vine style tomatoes and cherry tomatoes separate, uh, squash, watermelon, greens, herbs. Um, obviously corn's kind of probably going to go on its own and um, then seeds that we have saved of our own we'll put in a separate um, separate little container so I'm just gonna get started I need to get start getting these labeled we, we kind of have them laid out here based upon how they're gonna be in the containers um, so I'll go ahead and start getting some labels put on these and then have the kids come help and we'll get these things organized a little bit better and start getting them into these containers so I'm gonna start printing the labels. I'm gonna start with the vine tomato here. One thing I do need to do before I start applying any of the labels is I'm gonna take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I am gonna clean the part of the case here where I'm gonna be installing the label. And it's important because I want these labels to last. And uh, if we're gonna apply it directly to the plastic here without cleaning off some of the oils and stuff that are naturally on here from production, the labels might not stay very long. So I need to make sure I get these cleaned up. All right, Josh, what color container should I use for flowers? Uh, how about pink? Pink? All right, that'll work. That's what your mom said anyway, so. That's fine. My original thought was red, but yeah. All right, what about herbs? Should I put herbs in green also? Along with the yeah. greens and lettuces? Probably. All right, so flowers in pink. All right, and then herbs in green. Mm -hmm. You just type it in and it prints Type it, it in, yeah. Oh, wow, that's All really right. nice. What should I put melon in? Mm. I think orange or yellow. I think orange or yellow. Well, that's what mom suggests, but. We should do what mom I says. I was thinking either red or green, but there are red. Well, that's yellow. watermelon is red and green, but there's other melons. Like there's the cassava melon and there uh, is um, cantaloupe. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you could just do orange. Orange? Okay, we'll put melons in orange. And there's there's orange watermelon, right? There's yellow watermelon. So we can't just do orange or green or red or green. So, all right, we'll do melon in orange. Okay, which one should we put onions in? Cause we got a lot of onion seeds left. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? Which yellow? one? Onions in yellow. All right, I like that. That works. Which one should we put root vegetables in? Uh, we got uh, turquoise, blue, and purple left. Yeah, we probably should put some stuff in those. Uh, All right. What do you think? Turquoise, blue, or purple? I guess you could do blue. Blue for root vegetables? Ooh, that's a good one because they're, they're usually also ones that grow in cold temperatures, right? All right, let's put the greens in. These are kind of hard to open. All right. Will it fit? Ooh, it fits. All right. Next, let's do... Flowers. Flowers. These are some flowers here. All of these? Yeah. What not? Yeah, so the bachelor buttons, not the. Oh, I forgot peppers. We got to make one for peppers. All right, let's hand that's me the what, path flowers first. That's we'll what do, I was thinking. We'll do a label what for I peppers. Forgot. As much as we love peppers, I didn't make one for peppers yet. Here we go. Flowers. Ooh, benefits. Oh, oh no, there's, there's still room for more. I got to go buy more, honey. Let's get the peppers in. Peppers. Oh, uh. Well, that's okay. Wow, we need more peppers. Well, I, I used a lot of our peppers this year, so oh. there's not very many seeds left. I have to replenish Pepper those. User. I guess that's one good thing about having everything organized is then it's easier to see what we actually have and what we need, right? So now I know I need more peppers. Ooh. Root veggies, right there. Beets, 
And all these radishes, things. turnips, carrots, herbs are all right there. Can you reach those? Of course I can. Just gotta lean. Okay, just making sure. We're going to squash is gonna have to go in a separate place. Sorry, squash. Uh, can I just stuff a little more? You got too many squash seeds. Yeah. Well, we can, like squash. Can't you stuff a little bit more in here? All right. We're gonna have to find something else to do with the squash. Put some of them in here, but. All right, as far as like miscellaneous seeds, um, I've got like some okra. I don't even know how I bought this. I didn't buy, well, I didn't buy this. I don't even know where this came from. Okra, we've got some Wait. seeds from uh, California, the giant sequoias. We're gonna try to grow some of these next year. Um, we tried a couple years ago, we weren't very successful. And then I also have some of the hemp seeds that we saved last year. So we can grow some of those again. Those will go in the miscellaneous container also. What do you think, guys? I think this will be a little easier when we're ready to plant next spring. I think it'll be harder. We have way too many squash seeds. Oh, uh, but it'll be easier to find. I want to say, hey, go get the tomato seeds, right? You just go, it's right there, rather than digging through the pile that was on the rack over there. All right, so we are completely done getting our seeds into our new seed container and organizer. I tell you what, this is going to be a game changer for next spring. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, we did pick this thing up at Michael's Craft Supplies. And um, I know they also carry them at Hobby Lobby. Most of your major craft stores are going to carry this container. So if you're interested, um, I'll go ahead and put a link down to the, uh, the Hobby Lobby version of this container uh, down below in the description. Well, that wraps up this uh, cloudy, it's cloudy now, cloudy Sunday afternoon activity. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate you tagging along. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates. And as always, God bless.